My name is Kasi Skitter. I'd like to give you an overview of the reasons for failure for adherence programs as well as how we turn those reasons into successes. Firstly, global adherence programs often have four points of potential failure. The first is very low enrollment rates. Doctors don't sign up the patients uh, in volume as uh, it was expected when the program was launched. Secondly, is there's poor quantification of results. They rely on patient data or doctor reporting compliance rates instead of systematic transactional data that quantifies compliance. Thirdly, it's very costly because of the use of expensive resources. And fourthly, the impact on sales is absolutely diluted because of the low enrollment rate. Um, Health Window addresses those by making sure that enrollments are not doctor-driven but driven through pharmacy. By the click of the button, we can identify thousands of patients on the right products uh, to be managed for adherence. Secondly, poor quantification, we make sure that we quantify from pharmacy data. So if there were dispensers, uh, 50 dispensers to 100 patients, we know that the compliance rate was 50%. If it goes to 80 out of 100, um, there's a visible gain and it's transactional evidence that it works. Thirdly, it's very inexpensive because uh, resources are shared with the pharmacy environment, so there's a cost benefit to that. And the impact on sales is quantified with sales data directly to the patient. So it's very much real-time data compared to the sales to market data that uh, usually is obtained from wholesalers. So pharmacies using transactional data, low cost of about less than a dollar per month, and drastic sales growth that will follow. Let's test if it works. Uh, in terms of low enrollment rates, uh, for Novartis South Africa we enrolled 20,000 patients uh, within five months. The main reason was that they capped the amount of patients and that's why it's not more. Um, in terms of quantification we were able to exactly specify or and quantify how adherence improved. So the first line there, the unmanaged Tarek patients filled uh, 5.1 dispensers per annum the managed patients filled 9.2 dispensers per annum. And in terms of the cost, as I said, it was done with under a dollar per patient per month. And the impact on sales was that Novartis lagged the market. And in the middle of last year, the market actually started a downward trend and Novartis' um, growth rate accelerated. And by the end of the year, they had a 9% growth for the year versus 3% in the whole market. And uh, as I said, that was three times what the market growth rate was. In terms of uh, the growth ranking, within the uh, first three months of the program, you'll see there at the top right, they are the fastest growing company in the pharmacies which we operated in, um, up from the fifth or sixth place yeah, in the uh, first half of the year. So that's if you use our health window program or our software, um, it's available to pharmacies. Uh, globally and as well as uh, pharmaceuticals that want to take this as a special offer to pharmacies and maybe negotiate on prefer preferential uh, product listings because you actually drive business by driving adherence which of course drives patient outcomes. My name is Kasi. Visit our website healthwindow.co.za for more information.